Good afternoon. Good evening. Welcome to another edition of I'm Gonna Play Lotro on my personal channel. Sapiens hitting that sub resub button. Thank you, Rick. How you doing? Hope you're doing okay. I'm actually doing okay. Catriana, how are you? I'm actually okay. Um, I honestly, as I just said in somebody's Discord, I think I cried myself out last night. Because um, quite frankly, uh, Mystery had been ailing for a while, so something like this was coming sooner rather than later. It's just she kind of precipitated it herself, so. She was a very good kitty. Um, but uh, I didn't want to actually get too graphic in somebody else in your Discord about what actually happened uh, that precipitated the whole thing. Is She must have gotten some kind of abscess or something on her jaw and she started digging at it. And she apparently dug it so deep and so bad when, we, when I took her to the vet you could actually see her jawbone and see her tongue inside her mouth. And the vet basically said um, the treatment, that they could try to do something, but there was just so much of that, that flesh was gone, that it was already like super infected, like really badly infected. Um, and it was just... I mean, that was already, they, they thought that that was, you know, life-threatening in and of itself. They felt that their only real possibility uh, to avert that would have been, you know, an extensive treatment involving, you know, the cone of shame um, and having to syringe feed her for at least a couple of months while that regenerated. Um, and... That was one thing. I mean, that was bad enough. The other thing is, at, as she has been ailing, um, I mean, she lost a ton of weight. She used to be as big as Thief Kitty. Come on, get up here. I mean, she used to be a... She was chonky. She was an absolute unit, as the kids say. And... Well, she wasn't. You saw, you saw that photo that I posted of her. That was after she lost most of her weight. Like, she was, like, this big. Actually, I think she was bigger. She was more like a hobbit of a cat. These toe beans. These got toe beans. Look at these toe beans. So, she had, like, lost a lot of weight. Like, her, her, her spine was so bony. I mean, honestly, she was pretty skeletal except her tummy kept I mean, she, she was really really slim and very scrawny like around her rib cage you could feel her ribs and everything but then her tummy her belly started swelling a lot and she started getting this discharge when she peed actually just at any time but it was you know urinary tract discharge and the nature of that is what really um Basically, the vet said it, she either had some form of cancer going on or she had uh, some sort of deep infection that she wasn't hopeful at all. I mean, normally um, in the past when I've taken cats to their final journey, what eventually winds up being their final journey, um, there's always some options. They, they try to offer things and, you know, they don't discuss money up front, but they say, well, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. And this vet was like, was like, she was in pain. Um, I don't know how much pain she was in, but she was in some considerable pain. Um, and it, it just was the, 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 those two main issues, she probably wouldn't have lasted the year anyway. Or even with, like, one of the two, much less both of them combined. So, even though she still had some spunk left in her, like, she was kept squirming on the table. 
So I had to actually put her in the carrier so she, you know, so she wouldn't do herself an additional injury. And she just, like, laid right down and was, you know, was calm. Unlike this idiot, the last time he was in a cat carrier, he was howling like I was torturing him. And so my neighbors think I abuse my animals, apparently. So I let her go. Cried my eyes out. And reading everybody's very kind comments on social media and in the discords. Um, very, very kind of you. I'm getting misty now. But, um, I, I didn't get home till like quarter after two. And then it's like, I, I need to shower because he was freaking out because of the smell, the unusual smells from the vet's office. Um, so I was like, well, I'm going to take a shower to wash this day away. And so I did that. And then it's like, I need something to, to distract myself. Um... So I read a book for a little bit. Ironically, I read the book that inspired my handle, The Elf Stones of Shannara. We are met in time of war, though it is a war for which lasting victory may not come. That's a really nice jacket. Less vitality, uh, much less crit rating, but that agility is sweet and the armor upgrade is sweet. The orcs of Dol Guldor are being made into a dangerous fighting force. Kill them all. Okay, I can do that. Um, so what else has been going on? Well, as many of you know, today was the first day at my new job. My new, new job. Um, this is a job I actually don't mind saying where I work for. Um, because we're not public facing. <clears throat> Well, um, Guarenta, she'll always be perched on the back of the chair. Because there's pictures. But, uh, the new, new job, uh, unlike the old job, the old job was... You know what? If I kill five more, I can complete that deed. So, the two-day job, which is the first job, you know, because once the, you get a, uh, a job offer, if you're under unemployment, you have to take it, no matter how... Shitty pay is not a valid excuse to say no to a job offer, according to the government. So, I wasn't happy about the job, quite frankly, the, the, the not... the new job. I wasn't really happy with it. I mean, it, it was a call center. Um, they didn't deal with customers. They dealt with employees of, well, I was a contractor working on, oh, I'm going to shoot these guys too. I was a contractor who would have been handling uh, contract or tickets for a company that was, there's like three levels of contracts going on here. Um, and the benefits were not at all, not that great. Like five PTO days a year. Um, very harsh in terms of things like, um, sick time or, you know, anything like that. And, and the pay was like 15 bucks an hour. I'm like, I could go work in video games for that. I can get a shitty job in video games for that amount of money. So, when one of my former co-workers posted this uh, new opportunity, it was for a direct hire. Started off with 24 days PTO per year, a very generous uh, sick time policy. Um, 
I, I was reading through the company handbook today because you're supposed to during orientation and whatnot. And we got things like parental leave is guaranteed. Um, you don't have to like go through FMLA for every, you know, to avoid getting a, a, a penalty on your um, on your attendance. Oh, Fifi, you are a butthead. Yeah. He's being a butthead. He is. He's such a butthead. What are you doing, cat? Are you being silly? Um. The only real downside is. You know, the 2 to 11 shift that I'll be doing going forward isn't really that bad. I mean, I'm going to miss being on your streams, Rick. Although, actually, they, they were going to have me be off on Thursdays. But they might let me switch that to another day because, well, I enjoy being on your streams. Um... It serves me better to be off on Tuesdays so I can support Corey's primary stream. Because in the days when, like, Valori is ill or whatnot, I'm, I'm the, the other voice in chat, so... Yeah, we're gonna watch out for that guy. Hi, Amali! Pontin! Crash you, how you doing? Go here and kill this guy. Why is there a bleed on me? Oh, because I'm close to the, the watching the, the standing stone. The evil standing stones. Is it wore out from your daughter's visit? Oh man, I need to get up there. Fine. So, uh, the new job is actually downtown, literally across the street from Paul Brown Stadium. Which means parking shouldn't be a problem at all. Because nobody's going to want to go see the Bengals, because the Bengals are 0-6. Um, The other shift they were going to be offering uh, offering me was uh, uh, six to three, which would have, you know, I, I would have died. That's because I would have died. I would have died. Now. So we go on and start doing our HR stuff, and the ladies are really nice, the two HR ladies. And one of the things I found uh, found very interesting is most of the folks in the company uh, have only been with the company like less than a year, right? Because this is the company's North American, well, their American headquarters. Uh, it's a UK company. Um, you don't help me, so we're gonna scamper out of here. <laughs> and the company is EG, uh, EG America. Uh, over in the UK, it's the EG Group. It's run by uh, the these pair of brothers, and what we're gonna be doing. 
for the most part, is handling tickets from folks working their chain of convenience stores. Thief, what are you doing, you dummy? Uh, so basically handling the tech behind, say, the gas pumps, uh, the cash register, stuff like that. So the the people who are actually in the stores will send us tickets to you know fix their shit because we're we're the IT group for those people. So while there will be phone calls coming in uh, during the time I was there. Um, I think they maybe took a total of 10 calls over the, the span of, I, I say that we were sitting with them a good uh, six of the eight hours. So I've gotten my first piece of official company hardware. Uh, with my previous jobs over the years, I've never actually had like a company laptop or a cell phone to have to care for. Um, so one of the cool things is if, for example, uh, my county declares what's known as a level three snow emergency, I don't necessarily have to go to work. Uh, I can work from home. Now, I can't do that on the regular. This is not a telecommuting job per se, but um, I don't have to... I'm not... I'm no longer considered um, an essential personnel like uh, we were at the old job. Because apparently the cable company's employees are considered essential personnel. Now, before I say, well, you guys handled home phone service, uh... That was uh, the case even before we started handling home phone by years, so um, they were just dicks. Hey, Oogs, how you doing? I hope Elda didn't actually host me on the official. This way. So we got a company laptop, we got all of our logins, things were working, it was good times. Uh, one of my former co workers, actually, two of my former co workers, one of I knew about because he was the one who posted in our secret Facebook group about the, the job, so I was like, oh hey. Um, and so he actually, when I applied, and, you know, I had mentioned that I had applied to him, he basically went to bat for me with the manager. He's like, yeah, if there's anybody from the old company you want to bring in, I know which people you do want and which ones you don't want on the team. And so he put in a good word, and that definitely helped me getting hired there. That's free XP, I suppose. Are you going to do the Sarah Oakheart thing again? You'll keep up as best you can? Sure, why not? Wouldn't it be nice is if you're a hunter um, that when you've got Find the Path on that your NPC walks just as fast as you do? Wouldn't that be cool?
So the team itself is really small. There's probably like 13 or 14 of us. Um, and right now we're pretty much just... The team is starting to ramp up because as the company buys more convenience chains and adds them to their roster, somebody's got to support them. They're going to need more people for that. So basically I got in on the ground floor here. Um, a little bit of a, a Wild West Frontier sort of aspect to things. Because it's not all corporate and rigid and like, this is the procedure kind of thing. It's like, they're still figuring some stuff out. And I kind of like that sort of environment to actually, you know, learn as everybody else is learning. Um, but, wait, wait, he's going this way. My bad. I almost left him behind. I rescued the wounded elf. Well, I'll collect that XP in a minute. Got more orcs to kill. See if I can jump up in here. There we go. Oh yay, another debuff. That's nice. Still fast with the Frodo. Well, yeah, Frodo walks real slow, but at least he doesn't walk as far anymore. I just did that quest the other day. On an alt. Or was it on this one? I forget. Might have been. Might have been an alt. All right. I need another plan of battle though. Whoa! Hi. Oh, shine a little. this. Damn it. Don't make me come over here and kick your damn ass. Oh, you're a defiler. Oh, I hate your guts. I need to clobber you in the head. there. And that, boys and girls, is how you get yourself out of the, the debuff. Speaking of debuffs, I have a feeling there's a certain debuff that is going to get hotfixed because some dickhead realized that you could bring Toxic Cloud out of Serengost and I'm gonna die. Ah, no worries. I'm not worried about it. I'll retreat anyway. <clears throat> That's what we call taking the shortcut. And did it yesterday during the Andun and con uh, Ensemble's uh, concert and wound up killing half of the audience like <laughs> Sam Mishap Games thank you for the follow appreciate you 
remember seeing you uh, the other night in Andangs. Hope you're doing well. Uh, it's not creative. It's being a dick. Um, and it's not very welcome. Especially when that person did it deliberately. They, it wasn't an accident because I watched them practice it. Um, but since they weren't doing anything to the show, I couldn't report it. But what was really funny about it... I mean, it obviously wasn't funny to the people who lost their undying title. You have done including well Hollyberry's alt. The um, craft of the enemy cannot be permitted. I mean, it's a clear exploit, and whoever, you know, the person who did it got reported. And the really, the really idiotic thing about all of it is somebody else was trolling the band by jumping up on stage and running around and whatnot. So a GM was uncloaked dealing with this other, this other idiot who's just merely being annoying. And this asshole, doing the, the actual big grief, Lord for the Lord and Lady. did it right in front of the DM. So, um, they witnessed it, and they took care of it. So, next time, if you're going to try to troll, look around to make sure there isn't somebody with a plus sign in front of their name before you try to pull some stupid shit like that. Ooh, look at that. I mean, it's not good for me, um, because I'm, I'm not a heavy armor, but, um, that would be a good piece of gear for a Cappy, or maybe a Bjorning. We'll hang on to that. Free purples. During Hat of Peace. Hmm. Not really good for anybody, quite frankly. And the hat looks kind of silly. Um, that's an interesting piece of gear. One point seven four one percent tactical critical multiplier. Hmm. But I'm still gonna sell it. Shade Ender. Uh, I'm gonna. Is that bound? Yeah, I'm gonna hang on to it for a little bit. Okay, that's not doing me anything. Save the crafting mats, save the world. Hmm, nice. You did lose the Undying title that- well, Nath, here's what I would recommend. Um, Put in a ticket to Standing Stone. Booger, I don't know if they got banned. Um, I sure as hell hope they did. Because um, that was rude. Well, the one who was dancing on stage, I, I would grant you that. But the guy who killed half the audience did it deliberately. It was clearly deliberate. Um, there, there is no, no question about it. I need to talk to this other guy. Because he was testing, and actually somebody had commented on I'm it on uh, Twitter. They, th they thought it was part of the serious business debuff. But, uh... <clears throat> but, Standing Stone wouldn't cause... A dismount that would actually kill your character. There's nobody at the studio who's that much of a jackass. Well, there used to be one, but uh, he doesn't work there anymore, and uh, he would only do it to somebody who deserved it, Rick, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, the other. Yeah, the other troll, I, I would say, yeah, he probably didn't know. He also got killed by the AoE. So. Yeah, that happened. So I don't think he felt too bad about, uh... I think he probably thought twice about his trolling, um, because he got caught up in somebody else's troll. Is 
go to the Ashen Slay. Do I want to go from here? Yeah, you can go down to the Ashen Slay from here. Them GD debuffs. So yeah, it was it was intentional, and I just have no truck for that. I mean, I like to troll my friends, but I wouldn't even I wouldn't do something like that to them. I, I'm more of the harmless troll. What can I do here? You can leave me alone because I'm going down the hill. Whee! Oh. You Leroy and wipe the raid. Well, was it a pug or uh, or was it a, a kin raid? A guild raid. Okay. Oh, need to reforge. How oh, nice. My thing about that is, if folks are just screwing around, it's not that big of a deal but when it's a pug or you know other people are in it for realsies I mean that's just that's that's not fair play from my from all I consider so I don't know what the end result was but I do know the person's name uh, obviously they did it right there with the GM in front of them so the GM took care of that part of it but I also reported it to Cordovan Uh, basically as a way to say thanks to the uh, to the GM who handled it but I did mention it to Cord so that if we see that guy again Cord will know what to do with it hi kitty yeah throwing a snowball at your friend kind of thing that's not a big deal that's not gonna actually kill your character and affect your gameplay run up your repair bills However, let's talk about other things of doing good things for people instead of doing bad things to people. Personally, it looks like uh, Bull Roar is getting ready for this week. You can now transfer characters to Bull Roar. Well, copy characters to Bull Roar. Uh, you cannot still transfer characters from server to server, um, nor can you transfer shared storage from server to server. Uh, we have no ETAs to want to expect that. However, uh, just a reminder for folks who may have missed the, the memo, for anybody who used uh, server transfers, like the free sh the storage transfers, to boost your um, moats and embers above the actual stated intended cap, if you don't spend those down before Minus Morgul launches, you will lose that currency below or above 10, I think it's like 10,000 or whatever the hell it is. So, uh, these figments, moats, and whatever, these will be forcibly capped to 10,000. So, uh, smoke them if you got them. Otherwise, uh, yeah. So that's one big piece of news. And you can copy characters to Bull Roar now. Uh, the database has been wiped, so copy away. Uh, and there was an especial note on that listing, on that post on the forums. If you are intending to transfer a character from Landraval, do it now. Or do it before Wednesday. Because apparently there's some kind of maintenance going to happen with Landraval that's going to prevent that, that server to transfer after Wednesday. What are you doing? Kitty gets cuddles. So the other big piece of news is Cordovan finally. He's been a busy boy. Uh, 
launched our yearly Extra Life campaign. Um, Sapiens is well familiar with Extra Life since he left Lotro for Extra Life for a while. Okay. So Extra Life, you donate money, and that money goes directly to the Children's Miracle Network Hospital of the person you donate to. Lotro streamer, whether on the official team or not, or and basically if you are a streamer of some kind and stream Lotro, you too can join our Extra Life team. And it's extralife.org. And I don't remember the actual URL for the team, but it's in the post someplace. Um, let's see if the Extra Life chat bot will actually make a noise while I'm streaming. Probably will. See? You hush. Stop it. I'm six of eight of the team. There's eight of us on the team. Um, and you can uh, join the team and not reveal your real life name. We apparently have already raised uh, $1,300. How the hell do we manage that? I don't know. Let's go take a look. Thirteen hundred and ten dollars USD, and our goal is ten thousand dollars. I have already promised Cordovan we are not going to put him into a kilt this year. Well, he does have the kilt from last year. He can just wear it again. So anybody can join the party. So most of our donations have been uh, through Cordovan, of course. And as usual, the Lotro community stepped the hell up, as we always do. So I'm always very proud and uh, very humbled to be part of this little party. So that's a thing you can do. You can join us. You can help us fundraise. Uh, we haven't officially decided uh, what date the uh, fundraiser will be. Um, because we're trying to work out the schedule. Basically, the, the, the actual Extra Life game day is Blizz, is the same weekend as BlizzCon, and considering, um, how much of a dumpster fire their community is right now. And the fact that, uh, the news cycle will be totally full of BlizzCon stuff. Um, we probably would be better served, um, ow. Hello. Doing ours on a different weekend. Um, I suggested either the weekend before or the weekend after. Uh, the weekend before would do us well simply because um, it would be before everybody else's party was done. Because um, there is such a thing as uh, charity fatigue. And so if everybody uh, does their fundraiser the same day in early November, then people have already donated and won't have budget left over. Which is a fair, fair statement. So I need to go... Whoa! Down the hill, apparently. Oops. Let's kill this guy right here. Hi. Where am I going? Oh, okay. So, as before, as with all previous Extra Life years, um, you can earn goodies for yourself or to give away to others by participating. Uh, our group incentives is if we raise uh, $2,000, uh, there will be 10 500 Lotro Point Codes uh, and 10 Hero of the Small Folk account-wide titles given to players uh, in a random drawing. Uh, and that will be from all of the folks who uh, contributed to the, the fund. Whoops, that wasn't smart of me. 
Uh, if we do 4,000, uh, then 10 more 500 point codes will be given away and 10 more here of the small pool titles. Um, and this will be distributed uh, to, again, the, they'll be randomly distributed to folks who donate more than $10 to the fundraiser overall. Out of the stupid. Let's rest up a little bit here. 6,000, 10 more point codes, and uh, 10... There's this new title that they created for Extra Life this year. It's called Aid to Those in Need. That's brand new for this year. So at $6,000 raised, uh, it unlocks 10 of those codes will be given away randomly to folks who donate $10 plus. Dollars. At 8,000... Uh, 10 codes for Enduring Universal Toolkits will be given away to people who have donated, uh, randomly given away to people who have donated at least $10. Um, and if we hit our goal of $10,000, uh, 10 additional codes for Enduring Universal Toolkits will be given away to 10 lucky people. And we will also give away two collector's editions of Minus Morgul. Now, the cool thing about Minus Morgul is these codes are the the store codes, which means you get all of the goodies, uh, whoever gets those prizes will get the goodies that come with buying Minus Morgul for real money. So, um, they just sweetened the pot literally the other day, yesterday? No, Friday? It was Friday. Um, by adding DDO-like uh, crafting boxes, or crafting bags, to those two expansions, to the Collector's and the Ultimate Edition. Um, we don't know if or when they'll be put on the Lotro store, but honestly, I would be extremely surprised if it wasn't for two reasons. One is if they intended it to be exclusive to those two editions, they would have said so right now. And secondly, They've been selling similar bags in DDO for nine years. Eight, nine years already. At least eight or nine years. So they already have years of metrics to tell them uh, how well they will sell. So they already know. Oh shit. They already know. It's gonna go well. It's gonna be good. Sanguinate uh, a terrible spirit. I mean, by its very nature, it doesn't have blood, so. Let's see if I die again. Maybe, maybe not. Come on, you. Die already. baby. That was nice. So, other, uh, also, anyone who donates at least $10, uh, will be entered into a drawing for a Minus Morgul Collector's Edition that they'll award at the end of the fundraiser, providing you give him, uh, contact info. So, how do you provide contact info? Because bearing in mind, if you donate to anybody other than Cordovan, or, um, basically, if you, if you want the rewards, you are going to have to send uh, Cordovan a PM on the forums. And Cordovan didn't take my damn advice from last year and create a generic uh, ID for people to send those codes or those requests to. Um, but you will need to send in the name you use for your donation on the Extra Life page so he knows who you are, uh, your forum name or Twitter handle, whatever, some way to contact you. The amount donated and the date of the donation, if you know it. And that is for the individual incentives, such as if you donate five bucks, you can uh, get a custom 
forum title of your choice. Mine is Instigator of Shenanigans. Oh, shit. Oh, don't, don't post me on the official if you're watching. Don't do it. Hi. If you donate $10 or more, uh, you'll get a custom form avatar. Mine is of my character sitting on her mount. Well, it's basically a close-up of her face with the mischievous mood on, so it's kind of really cool. Uh, and she's kind of like giving you a you know, side eye like that. Um, and you just let Cord know what you want your avatar to be, and he'll do his best to make it happen. Of course, it has to be appropriate. Nothing inappropriate here, kids. If you donate $20 or more, you get two picks from the community loot list. Uh, $30 or more, you get two additional picks from the community loot list. 50 bucks or more, um, you get two more picks from the loot list, plus a code for an Enduring Universal Toolkit. Kind of sweet there. And if you donate $75 or more, you can get uh, two additional codes for an Enduring Universal Toolkit, along with a code for that brand new title, Aid to Those in Need, which will they'll all be delivered as codes to the Lotro account uh, of your choice. All incentives are cumulative, so if you donate 50 bucks, you get everything 50 bucks and lower. So just PM, sort it out, da da da. He will be taking donations through November 15th. All giveaways and incentives will take place after November 15th. Now, what is in the community loot list, might you ask? That's a very good question. You can get yourself, uh, any of these titles that are mentioned here are account-wide. That did work. Um, you can get either Hero of the Small Folk, uh, the title Artist as a prefix, the title Artist as a suffix, uh, Art Lover, Audience Member, uh, Concert Attendee, which is one of the ones that I had been handing out, uh, Elda and I and Aiden from the Lonely Mountain Band were doing that as part of Weatherstock and thereafter. And we still have a few of those left. Um, event organizer. So if you organize events uh, for other players, you can get one of those. Or if you've won an event um, that may have passed and we didn't have titles back in the day to give you, well, you can claim that for yourself. And then you can tell stories about how you kicked everybody's ass at the Harn Kicker game or something like that. Ponton. <clears throat> um, also, you could give... You could get musician as a prefix or musician as a suffix. Uh, a previously rare title, in fact, Ponton is the first player besides myself who had one, and I only have it because I was a guinea pig to test the code, uh, is performer of note. Uh, that was not only intended to be for musicians, but also for um, stage acts and stuff like that, like plays performances, uh, contests, like the upcoming America, or I'm sorry, America, uh, Middle Earth Scott Talent. That would have been a good place for it. And we're going all the way back there. All right. Oh my gosh. Well. There's not much to be done for it except to ride and ride some more. Except we're going to try to take the scenic route and just go up cross country. See how this goes. Not very well with my horse about dying. Excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. I'm going to keep running. Hopefully you de-aggro kids. 
Uh, other titles uh, you can get are um, provider of event information, and that is kind of like if you're one of those folks who uh, often post in like World Chat or in Ales and Tales on Landerval to you know let people know about events. I mean that's a good title for that. Um, the MC title, a speaker for the mu musicians. That's basically if you're one of the folks who's on stage introducing the bands or the acts uh, in a concert, that would be a good title for you. Um, speaker of words, currently the only, there's only two players who have that title. I don't even have that one. Um, one of them is Professor Corey, the original speaker of words. And the other one, and I'm blanking on her name, but Pondin will probably remind us. But she won uh, the event that Second Breakfast ran on Crit Callo. Um, the Poetry Night, I believe it was. Do please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm probably misremembering exactly what the event was. The Impression Contest, actually. I think that's what it was. Uh, you can also get a Spectator Award, or a Spectator Title, or Striving for Victory, or a Viewer of Events. Like if you're attending something other than a concert. And one of the previously extremely rare titles that you could get. In fact, it was so rare, the only way to get it was to meet up with the developer, either by getting an invitation to the studio, if you remember the Palantir Alpha test group, or you met uh, somebody from Standing Stone, then Turbine, at like PAX East or something like that, which, you know, that happened very infrequently. So literally it was very small handful of people got that title until Cordovan took over as community manager and he decided to open it up to a wider audience. So that's pretty cool of Cord. Can I go to Think Aloud? How can I be a step? Yes, but uh, slow pony. So what I'm gonna do is take the slow pony and talk. Um, you can also, uh, no more titles, but you can get yourself a Best House in the Neighborhood Trophy code. Uh, if you want an account-wide Tundra Cub or Spirit Bear. Uh, they're also offering Bardic Fiddles, Lonely Mountain Fiddle, Sprightly Fiddle, and Traveler's Trusty Fiddle. That's a one per, like, you redeem the code and you get one of those in your inventory. Um, you get uh, the Steed of the White City. The Carmelo Steed, the Perlino Steed, and the Steed of the Red Dawn. Now, I believe out of those four steeds, the Steed of the White City was the one that wasn't account wide. But the other three codes, the other three steeds, have always been account wide. So that's extra life in a nutshell. And let me go back and take a look and see what we've got in chat. You haven't had time to log into all your future style access. Nice. Hi, Taffy. Let's make new character. You just made new characters on Bull. Yeah, you can take. You can create a new character on Bull Roar and go to the Eyes and Guard Tavern, and um, just you know boost the character. I mean, a lot of people prefer to use their own character so they can see what their current gear looks like and how it performs. Um, Still no flute playing from last year. Bookworm, I have been nagging him about that. Uh, O'Malley, that is an extremely good question. Can you designate which children's hospital your money goes to? There's two ways. If you are donating, then you're going to want to pick somebody who is playing for their hospital. Like, if you donate to me then your donation will go to and that, let me let me rephrase that because I currently have a personal fundraiser going on right now for BlizzCon has absolutely nothing to do with extra life in fact there won't be anything on the screen about it it's in the tip jar right there when I do extra life streams that tip jar will not be there I'll have all the extra life logos the extra life branding and URLs and the whole nine yards you'll know definitively what's going on um So, if you're donating to somebody, uh, look for somebody who's do who has set their their chair their 
um, hospital to be the one you want to donate to. Um, like, for example, mine is set to Cincinnati Children's because it's the one up the road, literally like 10 miles that away. Um, if you donate to Cordovan or to the team in general, it's going to go to the Boston Children's Hospital. And Omali, I do not disagree with you on uh, his appearance in the kilt. Most guys actually look good in a kilt. He looks pretty great. But he won't wear it again. He thinks it's cosplaying. Uh, Sam, you didn't get any of your donor incentives. Um... Uh, Sam, why don't you PM Cord and remind him? Fontaine, I'm really bummed that I'm not going to be able to watch, uh, or not be able to see, um, Middle Earth Scott Talent. I want to see it, but guess who has a new job? You want a costume contest for Dwarven Empire? I won a costume contest, uh, this past year. Actually, this past month. Um, Pontin, um, the, the thing about the well-met title and be, you know, meeting Cord on stream, that's pretty much his justification for making that more publicly available. Um, also, we're going to be doing whatever day we pick for the marathon, it'll be a 12-hour stream, um, whatever day we pick for that... We'll be doing giveaways in chat of things, and I don't know what those things will be. Probably stuff off that list, though. Why? Right? Because they don't have to make anything new for it. Your friend and your kin was married in a kilt? I approve of being married in a kilt. I totally approve of kilts. I mean, hell, I made the kilt that Cord wore. That was fun. Anyway, let's go talk to Ningloro. And I don't know how late I'm going to be streaming tonight. Um... I started at 8, however, um, due to the... There is little time to be wasted. The emergency vet visit the last night. must be defended, or the sorrows we have endured will be for naught. I don't think I got to bed, or got to sleep until like 3.30 in the morning, and then I had to get up at 6, 6.30, 7, to get ready to go to work. Yeah, I'm tired. However, I figured, uh, since Elda wasn't feeling all that well and was not streaming on the official, that I could get a Lotro stream in. And I appreciate all of you beautiful people for being here. Uh, if you don't currently follow my channel, um, definitely hit the follow button. Hello, person. Uh, and it should turn automatically turn the bell on these days. Sweet-eyed Melon. Sweet-eyed Melon. Gotta look at it cosmetically. Ooh, that's actually kind of a nice hammer. That is a nice-looking Runekeeper satchel. Can you equip those cosmetically? I think I'm actually gonna hang on to that. lock it so I don't delete it accidentally. No, I don't need to identify the other one. I can identify this one though. Megovanen. Well, we don't want to do any of those. Because you can't deconstruct it until you identify it. Well, that's rude. Hail, friend, and well met. Ooh, reforging my primary bow. Ooh, quick shot damage, hell yeah. Hey, we skills maximum targets. There we go. Well met. 
Wayward Plane! Raiding with a party of four! Four! <laughs> oh, Sam? Oh, I love doing that. I freaking love doing that. Um, and I don't mind being the person who gets broken by that sort of thing. I don't mind at all. Because... Extra Life hasn't done anything for me personally. I don't have kids. Um, I do know Extra Life was personal to Cordovan because his son needed uh, the children's hospital at one point uh, for something ultimately relatively minor. Minor, not minor. Um, but so it's it's definitely personal to him. And given that Sapiens is a good friend and he's the one... Well, actually, Sapiens isn't the one who started uh, the the turbine slash... Oh, man, skirmishes! skirmishes! Damn it! I hate skirmishes now. But here's how Lotro and its employees and then its community got involved in Extra Life. Long time ago in a uh, galaxy far, far away, Serafina Brennan... One of the nicest people on the planet. Hey, Malin, how you doing? Um, said, you know, hey, there's this thing called Extra Life, uh, raising uh, money for the Children's Miracle Network hospitals uh, for sick kids. I think we should do this. I I'm going to do this. Uh, I think I can raise 250 bucks. And Sapiens, being the uh, awesome dude that he is, said, you know what? I think we can do better than that. I can raise $500. So the challenge was in. And I'm going to actually scale this down to 60 because I'm being lame and I don't want to die. Actually, can I go below 60? No. We'll do it at 60. It'll be fine. So I did the previous one in the Epic Quest line at, uh, at level and I got my ass kicked. So... Um, what was once an important fortification of the enemy is now held by a small band of elves. The enemy seeks to reclaim their fortress, marching upon it in force. Lodra looks old Lodra. and beat up! Under Valestian uh -huh. there still sure. function. And so the challenge is on. And so Sapiens rolled into his first extra life with a goal of 50, 500 bucks. He wound up raising 18,000. So it became a thing. So we, we haven't done as well as our maximum a few years ago with 5,500, but, uh, I'm sorry, 55,000, but we did very respectably last year. Uh, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, got a couple of ballistae. And you wish me good luck. Okay. West Ballista. Well, west is this way. Wait, he's coming up this way? Oh, 
He's got whatever. you guys are out here oh, hi oh my warrior got killed oh sorry oops Honestly, there really isn't much that you can do uh, to say ill about a charity that donates 100% of their uh, donations. Like 100% of anything you donate to Extra Life goes to the charity itself. Wait, less? Yeah, this is less. Um, they basically get their overhead and whatnot from other sources, like other donations and whatnot. So as much as I, I love St. Jude, because they're also very good at what they do, um, they don't, uh, like when you donate to St. Jude, they don't guarantee or promise that a 100% of your donation will actually go to the charity. Some of it goes to overhead. And that is just the way it is. I mean, you just have to understand them's the rules. what's going on in the world of Lotro right now. Uh, we are expecting Minus Morgul's uh, beta. We don't know exactly when, but the fact that you can already patch it typically means that they're getting ready to uh, getting ready to do the thing with the thing. Okay, we're gonna let the weakling through. We're gonna hit the bad guy. There we go, the blood rip. I personally expect uh, Minus Morgul to be on Bull Roar tomorrow, possibly. Again, I have no official confirmation. I just know typically uh, if you can patch Bull Roar one day, they launch it the next day. But don't quote me on that because, again, we don't know officially for sure. I dare you to fire that weapon? Okay. Who's daring you? Who's double dog daring me? You? You dare me to fire the weapon? Well, then I'll fire it. I will make for good sport? Sure. Like when 
page on here. Thank you, Rodala. you are. What are you be sneaking donuts again? Sorcerer cackles and makes his run toward the tower. Do I have to run behind the tower? Maybe he'll come in with his group. Oh, I see the sorcerer behind me. Fire that, and then we're gonna go kick the sorcerer's butt back here. Oh, I missed him! Oh man, I wasn't paying attention. Hi guys. Oh well. I mean, I'm only doing this for the story, I'm not doing it to, for completion's sake. appreciate y'all being here on this beautiful Monday evening. Uh, it was nice in my town. Beautiful fall weather going on here. Are we there yet? These ballista are pretty weak sauce, I must have bit. So what's everybody up to this afternoon, this evening, or this morning, Sam? We 
all know, it's stupid o'clock where you are. Dailies. Grinding them scrolls of empowerment. As you do. When Cord gets off his butt and boosts an RK, uh, we're gonna try and stop him from... Well, here, here's my philosophy. Is, um, yes, we do want him to understand our frustration with the grind for allies on the other hand um in order to do the grind he's got to actually play the game more often and he doesn't literally doesn't have the time i mean he is uh community managing two whole games and each one of them is a you know job in and of itself you just hit me with lightning you jerk Relaxing after work? I'm, I'm good with that. That's what I'm doing. Though tomorrow at this time in the evening, I will still be at work. Talk to Rodeless. Uh-oh, the general's almost there. Hey, Ginger, how you doing? What you up to? Well, the ballista will not be enough for him. Well, can we still hit him with the ballista? Because it'd be funny. Go and arm the catapults. Okay. Oh, you will arm the catapults. Uh, meet him when the catapult is about to fire. Look for the signal and bring him, basically... Yeah, let's do that. Apparently, I didn't actually need uh, the help of the catapults. Well, that's fine. I'm just that badass. It's stupid o'clock over there, Sam. We can we can call it for reals. their attack. Let them now fear ours. The time has come to strike hard the fortress of the enemy. Okay. We're gonna kick some butt and take some names, finally? Maybe? Task to fight the uh, but we must. Okay, skirmish level minimum 60. You know what we're gonna run this on, right? That's actually not the thing I was looking for, but since we're here, um let's see what we got. I could finish out Pathfinder. I could get us some more of that. Um split shot max target sounds like a good thing to spend points on. Day chance or rapid fire. 
I honestly don't use rapid fire that much. I think I will go with adding more damage, uh, hitting more people. That sounds like a good idea to me. In the meantime, we want a Necromancer's game. And we're going to run it at 60 again because I'm a chicken chip. Why does it say it won't launch? Oh, that's why. Duh. Let's go! Don't oh, worst part of the grind, getting startled? ...of tight hallways and open courtyards. The necromancer's right, gate marks the entry into the heart of the fortress. This one! This will be fun. Vision cannot fail! We'll open the door. Okay, I guess we gotta go this way. My goal here is to get through all of this. Hey, gravity streaming. So I can get my sorry butt out of Mirkwood and start moving down into Dunland. Thank you for joining me, warrior. Rage mistress? Is that like rage monkey as a name? That'd be kind of cool if it was. time I have stream well I streamed on Friday and I did I stream on Saturday or did I not stream on Saturday I might so anyway in order to uh, keep my beautiful job or to be able to start my beautiful job I had to prove uh, that I was a citizen of this country oh hi bye And to do that, um, basically the forms of ID where you could have something like a passport, an unexpired passport, various other uh, possibilities like a resident card, whatever. See things I needed my birth certificate. Um, to replace my social security card and I didn't need it to replace my passport but it wasn't going to get here in time um, so because the service that I had paid to provide a, pa uh, a replacement birth certificate still hasn't gotten it to me yet right um, I wound up having to drive to New York State to go pick one up in person And the cool thing about that is that I got to hang out with my dad, whom I don't get to see anywhere near often enough because he lives seven hours away. It's a long drive to see my dad. But it was nice. I had lunch with my dad on Thursday. First time I'd seen him in years. And uh, yeah, it was pleasant. And I got back just, in, well, I got back like around 8 or 9 Sunday night or Thursday night and so I still went and did the usual stream with Cord the Cord of the Rings and then I did a uh, guest hosted Professor Corey's show as I do because he was out 
at uh, Middle Moot. Uh, Professor Corey will be back to his usual teaching tomorrow. And I don't know offhand if he has any other travel plans for a while. Flag up there. Flag's probably up there. Ay, ay, ay. Do that to a hunter, will you? up there um, one of the things you should probably be aware of is that the local potato chip brands uh, in his part of the southern tier of New York aren't the same as the ones you get here in Cincinnati and so I was looking for a specific brand but I think that brand is only available over in Pennsylvania and I didn't feel like driving down Across the border to go pick some up, but I did get another local brand's uh, tater chips, and I've been munching on them right here, and they're really good. And I, I kind of miss them. Yeah. So that's fun. Monger, what a name.
So there. Uh, is it still VIP weekend? Uh, it is, because here today is a federal holiday, so a lot of people had the day off work. Uh, it is uh, I alternatively Columbus Day or Indigenous Peoples Day. And sadly, I had to unfriend somebody on Facebook and on Twitter uh, because sadly he has become very hateful uh, and has posted a screen well he basically posted a comment on Facebook about uh, revisionist history and calling people SJWs and um, social justice warriors and using it as an insult and has complained about cancel culture and as soon as somebody pointed out uh, something to him he went and uh, blocked her on social media I'm like uh that's cancel culture <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, are there free character transfers on this game from server to server? Uh, no, there are not. Um, the only transfers uh, that are free are copy of your character to the Bull Roar test server. Or you can, when they're available, transfer your shared storage from server to server for free because it's not a character you're transferring. However, character transfers are currently unavailable except to Bullroar because uh, there was a bug and they turned them off to fix the bug. Uh, however, since Bullroar is presumably due to come back uh, for testing of Minas Morgul shortly, probably this week, uh, they turned the copy portion of things back on so you can uh, bring your high level characters to Minus Morgul to test things. When character transfers turn back on, they are currently priced at 2,495 Lotro points. Can I be losing? Well, it's because I'm over level. That's how you can be losing. Yes, and if you're going to copy a character from Landreval to Bullroar, do it before Wednesday because of they're going to be doing some maintenance on Landy.
We must act quickly and launch the second attack upon the fortress. Oh hey, an assault on the ring race lair? I will do that for sure, Zs. Hmm. We're also gonna do that one at level 60 because again, I'm terrible. And I don't really think I'm doing it for Zorak. Gumpskang! How are you doing? Before the rest of the fortress can be assaulted, these must be taken. These must be taken. Gums, don't forget your daily dice. And sadly, the, the real problem is there have been people complaining about this guy for a while, and it's only been in the recent past that he has gotten to a point where I can't associate, because I do try to be, I wouldn't say open-minded, I do try to not be an ass to people even if they don't agree with me, but he's in a position of authority at a convention I used to do volunteer work for. And I don't feel comfortable with him being one of the big-time names of that community because um, he is very influential in the community um, and he does a lot of technical work for this convention. But it was good to have an excuse, uh, I mean, I had a legitimate excuse not to go to the convention, and that was simply, you know, lack of finances or whatnot. Actually, let me go take a look at this real quick. I was leveling that up. My sister is streaming. We might actually go troll my sister. Trolling my sister is way too much fun. It's so much fun! Oh, yes! Level up your hunter. Dots! More dots! More dots! That's an old wow joke. Um, heart seeker damage? Yeah. The half, yeah, she is the Hobbit sister, my halfling sister. We'll see what happens after this bit of the story, because this is a pretty big bit. And I do want to finish. I want to finish Markwood, and it's almost 10 o'clock. I've only been streaming since 8, so. You know, I like to do at least 3 hour streams if I can, or try to. So that would mean streaming till 11, but it also depends on how tired I be. I can kind of feel my eyes hurting as a thing. We're launching another assault! the gates! Destroy these mongrels! Shut the hell up, Luthiad. On the other hand, I don't normally get this many viewers hanging out on a random Monday. To be fair, normally this is Elda less time on the official, so y'all were bored. But no, Elda! Why am I on fire? I don't want 
gonna be on fire? A zealot of pain. That sounds like somebody who needs to go to my old school. There we go. Claim the inner bailey. Is that like beetle bailey? Ooh, massive footsteps to the east? That sounds pleasant. Well, thank goodness for hunter bleeds, right? Pontin is back! Pontin is back! Hey everybody, Pontin is here! Pontin is awesome. Something to the east. Well, I don't see anything to the east. Might it be this person? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Stop throwing things at me. Rude. Why don't I just kick this guy's ass? There's somebody down here. It's gotta all be up there. Yeah, Gumps. Ponton uh, said he's back. Okay, there was something to the east that I'm missing. I guess I'll wait and run into it someplace. How do you get your PC looked at? Ugh. I got a new work PC. Sigalath! No! Oh, wait. Spoilers. I got a little dinky laptop key. Like, yay big. I've never had a work laptop. So this is new. Being able to work from home sounds really great, except I have a thief kitty. On the other hand, I don't work in a call center anymore, a proper call center, so I can still do tickets when I'm at home. But it's not a case where it's the primary method of me doing my job. Oh, two lieutenants of the enemy. Get him, Sigalath! Shrieking comes from the southwest. Well, that sounds like somebody whose ass I need to kick. Yeah, Thief Kitty seems to think that cuddling with him is the main reason of his of my existence, which is a fair statement sometimes. Okay, so this was the one that wasn't accessible before, so we're gonna do this one first.
Defender of the Vial. For a second there I thought it said Veil, but... And I actually kind of feel bad that I haven't been playing uh, my main, because she is so not to the end of current content. I don't know where my warrior is, so... I'm gonna call it a day. Have a good night, Jinjar. It was great to see you, of course. Have a good rest. like Mjolnir uh, holding down uh, Loki on the Bifrost Bridge. True story. Oh wait, the claim thing is down this way, isn't it? Where is it? downstairs where the red marker is probably to get up there somehow. Let me go see if I can find my way. My sheepdog, my friend Sheepdog 59 is streaming. Sheepdog is a real life cop who streams uh, GTA 5. And one of the things that he does, uh, occasionally he streams playing a cop on GTA 5. Well, that doesn't look right. Oh. I think I don't get to do that until I kick this guy's ass. That's really the thing about those what if uh, stories is they always make uh, some interesting flips of the, the narrative there. It's kind of like the what if Professor X were evil sort of stories and then they turn around and actually did kind of make him evil. Time to strike the final blow. Perhaps we will see this song to the end after all. I hope so. Oh, so it was an actual storyline. Interesting.
The time has arrived to do what we came here to do. We will infiltrate the dungeons after nightfall. Okay. Our rewards are going to be this light shield, that warden's shield, which actually looks kind of cool. It looks like a a dwarven, uh, either an axe head or an hammer head. Boris. Ooh, I've never seen that shield design before. That's pretty cool. And let's see, which one of these? We will rescue Bori from the dungeons of Dol Guldur. A small force of elves have infiltrated the dungeons of Dol Guldur under cover of darkness, aiming to find and release the dwarf Bori from the bonds of his captivity. Is at the end of the hall. Are you sure about that? By Duran's beard. Plain made a chicken brie avocado lingonberry jam sandwich. Didn't share any with the rest of the class. Shame on you, Awer Plain. This is going to be bad. This is going to be super bad. Correctly, what I was supposed to have done is to take the nightshade and plant it and then talk to Lori. Otherwise, this is gonna go real bad. On the other hand, Bori's got like so much freaking health. He'll be fine. He'll be okay. He'll be fine. Can't get in here. Neener, neener, boo, boo. Alright, let's get some more nightshade. Oh, I already have one. Time to nap. Come on. I 
was actually kind of close. Oh, except we found the overseer. Charge! Let's hit him with a few things. Those orcs are really large, I know. Dead archers aren't much fun. Hi. Oh hey, I dinged at some point. That's nice. Level 68. Hi. Ori desired to thank you for his rescue. Yeah, don't you forget, Sammy's for everybody, Wayward. Rescued thus. Oh, we can also get a cryptic. Uh, I mean, the heavy shield is actually really nice. Except, I don't have any characters who would use it. But I can use the cryptic heritage rune. During my imprisonment, to pass the time, I recited to myself the old stories. Ori sounds like Gandalf, doesn't he? I might be right, I guess. Hadrilos like Wayward's tweet. I, I actually ran across Hadrilos when I was streaming the other day. Or maybe it was last night. I went and ran around her character or something. I did something stupid. I might have just roared at her. You're not sure how avocado tastes like? Hmm. No, I don't actually think I orbited her. I just, like, clicked on her and roared at her. Kitty. I remember too the stories of Mithrandir. All righty. Find and walk the secret passage into the foundations of the local door. Sure, we can do that. Well, we have a kitty to cuddle.
That's a bit of a ride. I'm actually going to take the, uh, the stable master down to the next stable down. What can I do for you? There's hello there. Why? So I can pet a kitty cat. One of the best things about taking stable mounts is you can't get, uh, it won't let you take aggro from bad guys. Oh, he's getting his chin tickles. I think on some level he does miss mystery, even though a lot of the times they they had um, grumpy a grumpy relationship. So, like, she would do something that would annoy, and they would get into like a batting pack, like that sort of thing. And there were, there were times when they would actually have a an actual fight. So, however. Now, at this point, uh, this idiot doesn't need three cat boxes all to himself. And the kittens in their room have two to themselves, but it's four of them and one of him. So, I think um, I'm going to finally get off my ass and start cross-pollinating the kitty cats, um, basically getting them to socialize. Basically leaving their door open, letting him wander in, letting them come out, and letting them finally roam the entire house. Because while uh, Mystery was ailing, I didn't want them to stress her out. I didn't want him hissing at them to stress anybody out as well. So. But I think it's time for Thief to realize that uh, it's not his house. Well, it's not entirely his house, I should say. And this will have the added benefit of him having some kind of company during the day when I'm at work. And also letting the kittens have more, uh, more place to wander around and get some more exercise. only downside is um, having the kittens in their room keeps them out of trouble. But it is really a pretty small room for a family of four kitty cats. I'm trying to remember if the way into Dolgal Door was up this way or not. I think it is. It's possible, Sam, but he hasn't really... I mean, she hasn't only been gone less than 24 hours. Oh, hey, I got a Mithril Quake out of that last... Garn deposit, and that was nice.
dimly remembered stories from his childhood, oft repeated in the darkness of his cell, have struck the spark of memory in Gori the Dwarf. He is certain the passage you discovered is the same used by Mithrandir long ago to enter Dol Guldur in secret. This is a really good instance. I really enjoyed playing through it the first few times I've played through it. Thank you for the follow. Pretty one in Y. By the way, uh, in our last stream, we hit over 800 followers. So that's pretty exciting. And I'm debating what kind of uh, reward uh, I will be able to offer for Extra Life. Because I want to do something on my own. I mean, Eldoleth has uh, additional giveaways that she's doing as part of her Extra Life campaign. So that'd be cool to do a little something for mine, but I don't know what it would be yet. Claws? Um... Sadly, any sort of funds I would have used... Uh, wait a minute. Can I get through there? To make that happen. Uh, got sucked up with unexpected cat bill last night. So I don't know. I'll figure something out. So we went that way. Can't go that way. That was where we were. standing in the stupid. Oh, the claws. Kitty cat. I must go the rest of the way alone. But why? Have I not proven myself? Of course you have! Cannot let you face the necromancer on your own. Do you think I questioned your bravery? I did not. I do not yet know what this necromancer is, but I have my suspicions. If any of them be true, even Gandalf the Grey would be a fool to face him in this fortress. You notice how Gandalf has that I'm holding my back, I'm a real old man move there? It's always been a little bit weird to me. All right, see? Stay here. I will have need of you on my return. I think I'm going to try to get this to go to 11. And then I'm going to find somebody to raid. And I don't want 
gonna go to bed that early even though I'm really tired because I don't have to be up until like 10 or 11 tomorrow in the morning Is. Die! Die! Plus the fact. I kind of want to celebrate first, you know, first day at the new job with ice cream tonight. And if I go to sleep at 11 o'clock, I won't get ice cream. Death becomes them. I have a really big bowl of tater chips here that I really want to eat as well. Because also I'm hungry. Because I haven't had anything to eat all day. Other than I had a sandwich uh, for lunch and uh, a bowl of soup. And they were not enough. that way. Okay, we were already here. Can't go that way. Potato chips with salt and vinegar. I am not a big fan of salt and vinegar potato chips. I just like a little bit of salt. I'm not even a lot of salt. The one thing I like about these is they have just the right amount of salt on them. Hi, boy cat. Even the UK flag? Oh, wow. <laughs> as long as I refrain from any display of power, you should not be aware of our presence. Even though the wicked sorcery served Hide as far as I'm like a whisper in a crowded room.
Okay, Taffy, go take your garbage out, and I'll wait until you get back, and then we'll move on to the next bit of the quest. Then you can get ice cream. Oh. That'll be me tomorrow night, because Tuesday is trash night here. to keep that. You have a title. Which sword am I'm using? Hammer one. Give hammer one. Hammer one doesn't have a title. Well, let's give hammer one a title. Shade under. Oh, by the way, uh, if you notice that notice in uh, Ubop, I am still collecting funds for my trip to BlizzCon, especially since I just had to shell out over $300 at the vet last night. However, this is a fundraiser with an interesting twist. Um, you can either commission me for artwork between now and BlizzCon, or if you hit the tip jar over there, all tips sent to that jar will get refunded after BlizzCon. Some of this purr. Put some of this purr. What you doing?
it's one of these perks. Yeah. Ginger came back, yay! We're waiting for Taffy to get back from taking the garbage out. So she doesn't miss any, any of the story. Claws? Don't mind the claws except when he claws something that's not fabric. Right, CP? Look at his tail. Look at his tail. Right, CP? He knows his name. He so totally knows his name. This is quality, high, high quality entertainment right here, kids. Now will Thief Kitty fall asleep or will Taffy come back first? Which will happen first? He, he's falling asleep. I'm tired enough that I might fall asleep first. A dilemma? What's the dilemma, Ginger? Because you realize a dilemma is what happens when you're in a pickle. And a dill enema is something we're not going to discuss on air. Because that's just nasty shit. Yes, the yeah, I am indeed falling asleep. Oh, Ginger, you don't know which server to use the level up on. Well, see, that's really the thing, is I, for a moment, had a dilemma about that, too. I'm going to evict the cat. Oh, I'm going to play. Because um, originally I was like, oh, hey, I'm going to get a Valor. I might as well use it on Landreval, on the hunter that I run with Court of the, you know, on Court of the Rings. On the other hand... I already have several Valard characters on Landreval, and I only have two level cap characters on uh, Crick Hollow. 
and a third level cap or a third uh, Arya character who is not anywhere near level cap. So I want to spend my paid for Valar on Crick Hollow. And I'm increasingly of the opinion that if I'm going to use a Valar on a character for the show, and it's not my show, I mean, if I use one for my own show, that's one thing. But if I use one for Court of the Rings, uh, I think Court should pay for it. I gave it to your hunter on Laurelin. Um... I would say the general common, um, co conventional wisdom for Valars is don't use it on a class you're sure you're, you're not sure you're going to play. Um, you don't have to have already have a 120 or even a, a 100 plus character with that class. I would say... Um, if you have a character 50 plus with that class, you're going to be okay um, because you already have most of your class rotation down, your class traits. Um, you have theoretically a basic idea of how to play your character or how to play that class. You don't need to know all the ins and outs for rating or instancing or group content or any of that. Um... Because quite frankly, other than the min-maxing uh, endgame rating perspective, pretty much all of the classes, if you've played them to level 50, you know the basics of how to play that class. Enough to survive on landscape up until Mordor, maybe even a bit further if, you know, you spent some time playing that class. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to click on this one. Yeah, that one needs a reforge, doesn't it? Fifi, what are you doing? So what do you have on Landy or Crick? Is there uh, anything in particular on either one that you would like to boost, like a, a race or a class? Yeah, I I was actually considering boosting my Hobbit Burglar on Crick Hollow for a little bit. Um, except I realized that um, I wouldn't necessarily play that class. And the main reason why I wanted to boost the Hobbit is because I didn't have a Hobbit above level 57 on any server. Uh, and that is the old Guardian I used to run with Cord. Back in the day. So it's like, well, I could use it on a stout axe, but it's like the main reason for me to have a stout axe is because I like their appearance, uh, not because, oh, hey, the stout axes can be um, a burglar. I do have a stout axe burglar. I think it's on Landy. Um, and then I have... Um, I don't know. Hop. Ponton. I am shocked at you. I wouldn't have ever guessed that Hobbit was your favorite uh, race to play. <clears throat> so I don't want to boost a character whose class I don't actively play or enjoy. I like play I love playing hunters. I like playing champion. Uh, I like playing captain. I'm still learning captain. Definitely learning captain. Um, and I think I'm getting better at minstrel. 
So I'm settling. I've settled on boosting my elf guardian. Mainly because... Um, I wouldn't say I know the class very well, but I'd still be willing to play it because I don't really have a proper sword and board character and I kind of want to have one. Um, because most of my other heavy mail or heavy plate armor, heavy armor wearing uh, nerds are either ineligible to carry a shield or... Um, I don't know anybody who plays captain with sword and board. Well, yeah, minis can do uh, shield, but I mean the heavy shield, right? Um, and of course, I mi I, I kind of miss the days when uh, champions could do sword and board, but I also am okay with them not having sword and board anymore because we have guardians, we have wardens, we have uh, captains and minis all able to use a shield of varying kinds. And so it felt like there's no real reason to have a captain with a shield. Because they had all these other classes that could do shields. And one thing the captain class can do that none of the other classes can do very well is dual wielding of uh, full-blown swords. I mean, obviously you can dual wield daggers. You can dual wield, you can dual wield swords as a burglar, but... Um, a lot of their skills require daggers. I wonder if Taffy fell in. Come on, Taffy. I'm gonna go to sleep. Aussie Worgen is playing Lotro. Sweet. Aussie Worgen is somebody that I know as a fellow mod of Devalor.
Thief, what are you doing out there? Thief likes to jump on the bookcase in the back corner. Like, there's literally just enough space for him to stand up. Up there, it's like a little cubby hole, and he loves to jump up there. And then he jumps down and makes a big ass noise when he jumps down. Hi, kitty. And Wayward Plain is tweeting pictures of her cat playing on her desk. It's her desk now. <clears throat> Meow. Tiny monster owns the desk. Yeah, Sam, uh, yeah, I'm actually interested about that as well. I want to see what eventually winds up happening with that. I also want to know what else is included in the Valor, or hell, what the hell is it called? Because it won't be Aria of the Valor. Each of the Valor upgrades, each of the Valor options has its own name. And I did ask Cordovan about it the other day, and he couldn't tell me the answer. I was like, well, is it a spoiler or NDA? It's like, it's not, it wouldn't be the first time he's told me NDA stuff and I can't tell anybody, jackass. Um, but he couldn't remember. <laughs> and it was like the day after he had gotten back from uh, hanging out with his kiddo last week for uh, Jeffrey's birthday, so probably not the best time to remember. My R of the Valar? That's interesting. You know, Ponton, it'd be interesting to know if, say, Chromite or somebody could uh, data mine that, but I don't know if they could. Hi. Thief wants to make biscuits? All the cat emotes you have? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. No, no, no. I'm going to show you some cat emotes. I got my Thiefy. Got Devilor's cat. Devilor's Cinder. Officer Kitty Cat. Uh, I used to have uh, the one of Jerry's cat that I made for his channel uh, when I was still a tier 3 sub on his channel, but, you know, things fell by the wayside when one is unemployed. Then we've got, well, Co Carnage has like a shit ton of cat emotes. So I'm going to spam you with all of Co's cat emotes. You think, uh... He's got some really good ones, too. I think some of them are set for Halloween now. Yeah, that's Halloween. That's Halloween. That's Halloween! And Taryn has Spoon. Elda has Nico. Jungle Queen has Oreo. Why am I still a sub of Sheepdog? Oh, I don't know. Uh, Ko has most of those emotes, but I have some others in other channels.
And one thing is, uh, a lot of those are his Halloween variants uh, for this year. Uh, after Halloween, he'll put them back into something else. Or he'll probably set up Christmas notes. Hi. Then Catriona dropping in the cat emotes as well. Even has a, a butt, a cat butt. Well, the Jungle Queen actually has a chocolate starfish emote. Which is basically, um, you know, a chocolate starfish. Because her cat Oreo likes to flash her butthole to the camera. And Gums Gang apparently is clenching his butt. See, Catriana is also a Jungle Queen subscriber. <laughs> Well, we have waited for Taffy, and I hate to say it, Taffy, but I really want to finish this instance before I fall asleep. Because I'm getting super sleepy. Dear, where are you? I don't think they've actually named it, or they have named it, but they haven't released the name into the data yet. Can't have a cat due to allergies? Oh, that's unfortunate. Thran is dead. Oh no! You had to leave your staff behind. Necromancer is so raw. No, no! He has returned. I don't know what they're doing over there. I mean, it looks like they're worshipping something. Hey! Hi, guys! Nice. We're gonna go reforge our weapon there in a minute. I'm sure let's go do that first. Oh, doesn't matter. Both Radio and Mithrandir have aided us, even in death. The last assault on Dolgordor is upon us. That's right, you think Gandalf was dead. I know differently. Do I know that Gandalf is alive at this point in the story?
There will be no better time than this to assault the tower of the Nazgul. Well, it looks like we're going to assault the, temp the tower of the Nazgul. I hope you are prepared for this final assault. I wasn't, but I guess I'll have to be. And we're gonna do this at 60 again because I'm a weenie. So I wanna get through it. The time has come for the last assault upon the fortress of Dol Gulda. The fighting begins, even as a smaller force enters the citadel in secret. Prepare to face their final foes. Let's get my dude out. Or, I'm sorry, my lady. Our good fortune? Alright, let's do this. Taffy's back! I'm sorry I started up without you. We finished the memories of Mithrandir thing. The necromancer Sauron. Oh my god, and Thrain is dead. The last of the seven is taken. With ice cream. Ooh. I want ice cream. But I kind of have this salty potato chips and I want to finish eating them. What I might do with these potato chips is put them in a plastic baggie or something. And get ice cream anyway. Is it me or is that- oh look, I had no pants on. on his ass. Gun 
makes sense that they would only have it during the autumn. I'm sorry, into the summer? Durr. I always really liked this tapestry of Sauron and the Nazgul. And I was like, well, wait a minute, are there nine? Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But I really do want to celebrate first day of the new job, and I really did enjoy the new job a lot, so. Press onward. Yeah, Catriona, I was actually a little bit surprised at how good it was. Okay, can't go that way. Can't go that way. I'm missing something obvious here. Maybe this way-ish. we call hiding the boss. has caught a piece of paper and is trailing it around the house. Hi. Can you go fishing in these? I wanna know. Yeah, I, I wanna know. shouldn't have plopped that thing down like right way back here. has commandeered the lap. Oh. Alright, where are we going to next, kids? Well, that's good. This door is open now. Shut 
shot through the, through the ground, through the ramp. God, ooh, this is hungry. Okay. Well, we'll kick his ass too. Things are breaking. What's the matter, Thief? What you doing? Yeah, toasty. Okay, nothing else back there I need to worry about. Hi. All right, this room. Oh, the lap blanket. Okay. So I did something funny last night. Um, I wound up uh, going to the TD's concert, which started an hour early for some reason. Um... And one of the fun, silly things, uh, that has- wait, what? That has happened was whenever I go to a DHS concert, I always wear the DHS, you know, that outfit that everybody in the DHS wears. And when I go to the And Dude Ensemble, I wear their traditional outfit, which is the, uh, The, the long-sleeved elf dress that you get for being um, kindred with the elves of Rivendell. And in, in this case, Dider and Lud Lu. So what I did for Titi is I went and inspected her once. Jotted down the names of all the pieces of her outfit and made a TD cosplay. And I got some dye and I made like the purple version and the red version using the same items and just, you know, dye one, throw it in the wardrobe, dye the second color and throw it in the wardrobe again. Are we in the armory? Apparently not. Okay, isn't this the way we came? Yes, it is. Ozzy Worgen, uh, let me see, did you reply to my tweet? You did not reply to my tweet. I had asked you, in response to your tweet, which server are you playing on? Okay, so wait a minute, we just went in here. We're going in circles now. Doing the Professor Cory. We call this doing the Cory. What tweet? Uh, you said you were playing Lotro now? Which server are you playing on? Maybe I need to go across this way. See? 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 One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Five potato, six potato, seven tater more. Tater eight, tater nine. Gonna head to bed? Well, it was good to see you, Molly. I should... Uh, I won't actually... Well, hello there. I won't actually be in, uh... In Corey's show until, like, late. Um, until I get home from work around 11.30 or so. 
So I should be there for the field trip, but I won't uh, be there for most... Well, I, I'll probably be able to listen to the discussion. But I'll have to, you know, do it low-key. Oh my god, it's Mazog. Let's kick his ass. Tickleberg. I want that axe. It's in my wardrobe. Should be there. Should be fun. a terrible orc, dude. No, Mr. Bond. No, you will die. Uh, I don't think so. I have not won. Mm, what server is it on the route? It looks like Ladin. Uh, no, we're gonna be on Crick Hollow. We might actually go into Sarnor. Because I at least will be on my main. There you go. And now you know where the dramatic defeat emote came from. Battle may be over, but some stories have not had their endings. The assault. Okay, I have completed Volume Two, Book Nine, Fortress of the Nazgul. When next you return to the 21st Hall, Vori desired that you visit him there. Ooh, that's not helpful. Okay, so I've completed the Mines of Moria. I need to find the next step, the next quest.
You're flying on November 1st? Wow. To the wiki! We don't need to do the the epilogues. We're not going to do the epilogues, quite frankly. I'm gonna look and see which ones are solo, though. I might actually... Do the one about Sigilith because the, you get one of her daggers as a reward. Uh, and that starts with Elunin here at Thangulhad. I can find her. The orcs have established a worm hatchery in Gothborz. Hmm. Those won't do anything for me. Okay, Ellen is on the back side of the building. Might you spare a moment of your time? Nope. Nope. I will do though. I feel we are beset on all sides. You think? me to tell you this, but Sigilith of the Hidden Guard fell during the assault. Spoiler, she didn't. Um, nom 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 nom. Arcador's fate. Just ally experience. Um, Kukoron's bow. Um, that's a really good bow. It starts with like 156 DPS. And the legendary that I have, well, it's 156 DPS, so. But, if I recall correctly, I do like the cosmetic of it.
Okay, we need to go back to the Haunted Inn. Which is over here. And we need to go to Karas Galathon. Looks like I swift travel to the Haunted Inn. So there's that. Night, Taffy. Yeah, I think he's been uh, a bit obnoxious. He misses his sister. He's the last survivor of uh, that litter of kittens that Mew I and Yowl had. Hey, defeat all these dudes. I can defeat dudes for you. Where are they? Up there. Stop eating the tater chips. I mean, the reason I was eating them is because the salt. The salt's really awesome sauce. Okay, so I'm supposed to kill gaunt men, which means I need to find gaunt men. I'm also supposed to find some connection between the Gaunt Men and this other thing going on. Wait, where are the... Uh... So theoretically, it's up here on this hill. Come on, you, let me back up the hell. Oh, you silly game. Have any dude to help me this time?
might be doing something in here. Not summoned. Wandering spirit. I still want to know how uh, a skill named Exsanguinate could work on a ghost or a spirit of some kind. I think uh, we had a Draugr in our uh, the One Ring tabletop session. That Richard Rowland was running. Imagine somebody who didn't regularly use Purge Poison would do with this instance. They would be dead. It's one of the reasons why I like running Blue Line um, is because I have two oh crap heals that I can rely on instead of just one. again. Not a soda. I'm not a soda and I'm a sad panda. Definitely appreciate you all being here today. Eve Kitty. I know I'm totally running around in circles. The last time we went, we hung a right here, so this time we're going to go straight through. Wow. 
wash the claws, cat. Jeez, OP. need to find some connection going on here. What you doing, Teefy? So there. He's an Ogunheim miser, so he's somebody else. Uh -huh. Wait, wait, toy broken into pieces by a character named the Miser? Was that a reference to the Burger Meister Meister? Because that kind of would be cool if it was. Okay. Um, let's get out of here. Let us skedaddles. If I can remember the way out. Right, we already went that way. We already went this way. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna run this way. Excuse me. Don't kill me, people. Don't tase me, bro! This is the way out. <clears throat> if they don't leave me alone, it will be a way out in a different fashion. Yep, it's gonna be the I'm going to res outside of the instance. That's fine. Meow. <sighs> Where are we? Hello. But tell me what you discovered among the ruins of Augusta.
How dare you? Ooh, I got a cool stool tablet. Not that I can use it for anything. All right, uh, let's go back across. villagers <laughs> oh Fifi I hope we have brought some measure of <laughs> Okay, so we got the bow. Let me lock it real quick. Uh, we're gonna go to Caliborn. So we're gonna go to Caraskalasan real quick. And I think that's gonna call it for tonight. Um, I'm gonna go find where I can pick up Volume 3, Book 1. Messages from Lorien. Oh, Pethelen is the guy I need to talk to in Rivendell. Okay. So, let me talk to Celeborn real quick, then I'll port to Rivendell. So, I'm in front of the guy. I'll pick up the quest I need. Um, why did I want to do this one? Yeah, I don't care about that. Why did I just do that? Just FYI, in three hours and about 20 minutes, uh, the VIP boost weekend will be over. And we will now return you to your regular XP levels. I think I should actually have a letter of having been summoned by Lord Elrond. I don't see such a thing. Those little platforms kind of wake me out. It saddens me to know that Sigaleth will not return to this land she loved. <laughs> Okay, so when I was taking a look at these, this, uh, I mean, this is pretty nice. And I actually really like its design. Uh, but the other one is more clearly, uh, like, an agility weapon, which means a hunter and burglar would best be suited for it. And it also looks pretty cool, but not as cool as the other one. We're gonna take the one that's actually gonna be useful. Again, look at the difference uh, between. I'm gonna lose a bunch of a vitality, um, but I'll get uh, over, over double the agility. And fate's always good, and crit rating is always good. 
even though I don't get anywhere near as much crit rating. But the physical mastery will be nice. So it's clearly a, a burglar's uh, knife, but it'll do well uh, in place of that sword for my hunter. Oh, except I was gonna go to Rivendell Dur. I should do inventory magic, but I'm gonna do that off stream. So let us go to Rivendell. Let's see who do I know who is streamins. Streamin the streamins. Uh Well, Yuki is playing Lotro. He's still doing his uh, breast cancer awareness thing, but my sister is playing Hearthstone still. So I think we're gonna go raid my sister just because it's funny. And she's really awesome, so I would probably recommend uh, giving her a follow. She's just started up streaming again, and you'll find out quickly that uh, she is the much cooler of us two. And this next step of the epic quest is why it's such a good idea to have a hunter with you or to be the hunter. Simply because it's gonna take forever and hopping all over the place. So this is the guy we need to talk to. We are met in time of need, and it is a joy to see you. Alright, so we've got our quest, we've got our quest ring ready to go. So let's go talk to my sister. Uh, we're gonna go have some fun, so... <clears throat> Weird. Um, Bookworm? Is it a monster play character? Because they won't show up in your main list. But they will show up in your list in the transfer window. My monster play characters do. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Already following her? You should watch her streams. So, knowing my luck, I'll probably raid her and she'll immediately go offline because she'd been streaming for most of the time that I've been streaming, so we'll see. So, let me set set us up with the raid. Let me hit my outro and I will see you again. I won't be streaming. Uh, I won't be streaming again until Friday. Uh, I will have to come up with a new stream schedule. I'm debating whether I want to stream after I get off work. Or if I want to stream before I go to work. I haven't decided, but for right now, I will definitely be streaming on Friday because that's my official uh, stream. And I have, uh, my work schedule lets me still keep streaming on the official, so it's, it's, it's nice of them. So I will talk to you later.